Hey everybody, it's Tristan Newman here, Mindful Living Realty in Rapid City, a new special episode today for you guys. Uh, I'm here with Ramsey, who is in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So we're going to have a little Rapid City versus Sioux Falls uh, video for you today. So first of all, I'll have Ramsey introduce himself and uh, tell us a little bit about who he is and uh, what, how he is over there in Sioux Falls. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Um, so my name is Ramsey. Uh, I actually have been in real estate since 2019. So came from a sales background, um, always had a passion for real estate, um, just helping people in general from, you know, families finding the perfect home from investor standpoint, people like to find those houses that have opportunity um, or just building, you know, so with lots and, and whatnot. So coming from a sales background from the car business and um, it was a, a bit different, um, but I'm really glad I made the transition and I absolutely love everything about real estate. Yeah, it's a lot of the things translate though. Once if you come at it from a, a matter of how can I help you, you know, that's it's, it's the same same idea as far as, you know, selling homes, selling cars. As long as you come from the same attitude, it really kind of makes things kind of th makes things flow. So, uh, yeah, so we, obviously my name is Tristan Eamon, Mindful Living Realty. Uh, I've been in real estate since 2006. So that's 14 years. That's been a while. My goodness. Um, we started out with some in, in corporate real estate world. And then uh, my wife joined me in 2010. And then uh, coming 2016, my wife and I said, you know what? We can do this ourselves. We opened up our own real estate brokerage, Mindful Living Realty here in Rapid City. So uh, that's my little half story. Um, so we will get going now more about our towns. So Ramsey, tell me a little bit more about Sioux Falls. What uh, population, what's it known for? You know, yeah. you give us a little uh, one, two, three on Sioux Falls in general. Yeah, um, Sioux Falls is literally big city living, small town feel. Uh, year to year, I mean, Sioux Falls is just growing and growing. The population, I want to say, is right at around 190,000. Um, and it sounds like we're going to, I mean, we're getting a lot more people in here. Um, you know, what it's, uh, what it's known for um, is the, the Falls Park is like one of the main things that Sioux Falls is known for. It's the big Sioux River um, Falls. Um, it's a falls literally in the, the center of the town. There's so much history with it. Um, so that is, I'd have to say what Sioux Falls is primarily known for. Um, I, you know, that's, uh, there's a lot more to talk about it. So, and, and we'll get to that, of course. Yep. So for those of you that uh, aren't familiar with your South Dakota history, uh, Sioux Falls is on the east side of the state along interstate I-90 and Rapid City, where I'm at is on the west side of the state. Uh, Rapid City is about 75,000 people in Rapid City proper right now. And of course, and we're doing the same thing. We're growing. We're getting more people coming in. Um, our just outside Rapid City is Box Elder, which is uh, which owns the houses the um, Ellsworth Air Force Base. And it sounds like as long as things move forward, we're going to get another mission to that base, which is going to bring in another two thousand people. Uh, and if you consider Rapid City and then some of the outlying towns such as Box Elder, uh, Piedmont, Blackhawk, uh, we actually end up with kind of about a hundred thousand in our community uh, area as far as that that's concerned as far as population is concerned and and i think the um, i think uh, rapid city is most known for is a uh, gateway for to the black hills uh, here we are uh, on the way to mount rushmore we've got presidents downtown and, uh, and statues we have all these uh, other very presidential things because of course you know we're right next to mount rushmore so that's the the main things i guess about rapid city and we'll talk more about that here in a little bit so let's uh, transition as we talk more we've talked about um our our city's growing uh and actually yeah. 1990 and i've seen it nothing but grow so it, it's it's just going to keep going so how's your uh housing market going what's uh, what's going on with the housing market over there yeah i, I wanted to add one thing as yeah. well from my side of the state to your side of the state i don't think anyone understands like the difference of um, you know, the physical features of the area over, you know, on the east part of South Dakota, it's mainly all flat. You know, we don't have a bunch of hills. You get about three hours down I-90 
which is the where we drive from one end to the other in South Dakota. Um, three hours down there by Chamberlain, it completely changes. You have prairies, you got hills, trees, you have absolute, it looks completely different. So, I mean, that's one thing that I think that I truly appreciate is just with it being, you know, South Dakota from the West to the East, the difference from just going from one end to the other. Yeah. Yeah. And it's four and a half an hour drive. You know, if you go 80, which is the speed limit, if you go a little faster, you might be able to hit, you know, usually between four and five hours, you're getting from Rapid City to Sioux Falls. And, and yeah, right at Missouri River, it kind of splits the state. And really, instead of North Dakota and South Dakota, it should have been East River and West River. That's kind of how different <laughs> yeah. our, our, our state is. Uh, we have East River versus West River uh, competitions all the time. So, uh, but yeah. yeah, it's a little more uh, definitely agricultural all the way around. But uh, East side of the states have considerably more farmland, corn, uh, beans, uh, sunflowers, where uh, West River, a little more uh, cattle ranches, a little more uh, horse ranches, a lot of hay fields, not as much corn and actual farming type. So 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, rolling into uh, the housing market over uh, in Sioux Falls, I mean, it is absolutely uh, crazy, I guess you could say right now. Um, we have, you know, I'm not sure if it's the same for you over, you know, in Rapid City area, but we're getting buyers. I'm getting people from all different states right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a seller's market currently. I'd say the hottest price ranges in town right now are 200,000 that are remodeled up to the 300,000. There's just that in between that has been absolutely blowing up. So those are selling, I, I wanna say within the first day, multiple offers. Um, so. Do you have a lot of uh, new construction opportunities kind of going out or is that kind of tough or where's that at? Yeah, so new construction, um, East side, Sioux Falls, they're, it's, they're uh, building all over on the East side of Sioux Falls um west side as well too they are expanding a bit but north and east side are absolutely blowing up towards the brandon towards you know the harrisburg it's like we're connecting to all of these little cities um as far as current new construction it gets pretty cold so they're you know they're waiting to break ground i think they're going to hit the ground running here within a couple months but that <laughs> new construction is big yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I've actually got to ask that question to you. You mentioned some of the smaller towns um, around you. So like Harrisburg and T and Beresford, aren't they kind of like small towns? I mean, pretty much almost just kind of subsidiaries of Sioux Falls in some ways, right? A lot of people traveling back and forth or? Yeah, yep. So um, I would say uh, T, um, you got T, South Dakota. That's uh, more towards the west side. You have uh, Harrisburg and Brandon, that's going to be the east north ish area. And then you have Garrison. So you got all these little small towns and we're quickly expanding to them. Um, I remember, you know, when I was little, it was like there was a, a bit of a separation to get to T, especially to, to Harrisburg. And, you know, it is just expanding and expanding. So it's connecting to all these little towns. Yep. Yep. That's kind of how it rolls, right? Yeah. 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 Same thing here in Rapid City. I just did a search a couple of days ago of active residential properties in Rapid City. Um, and actually active residential in our entire MLS. There's 136 properties available for sale. Usually right now we have four or five, six hundred. As we get into spring, we're getting a little higher into that. So yeah, our inventory is severely limited. And just like you, you know, we're getting offers on properties very quickly. And it's multiple offers, over asking price, and you know, all these things that, of course, many of you have heard across the country as well. Uh, so it, it's uh, it's it's tough tough for buyers right now. Uh, of course, really good for sellers because they get they get their their pick of the letter kind of idea, right? Yep. Yeah. So um, and then uh, yeah, and uh, to answer also about new construction, um, obviously Rapid City was is built up against the hills, and well, everybody in the 60s and 70s had the same idea everybody else says well let's go build up into the hills and so that's all built uh all new construction is either we're going to go north east or south and that's where all the new construction is kind of working around rapid city and a right. lot of it's going on and there's a, a one new development that's going to be at 700 acres i think 
it's going to be like some 15,000 homes, I believe, in this this development that they're just starting now. So it'll be a few years before they get all those, all that put together. Um, but right now they're building them. I mean, they're getting sold before they can they build them. There, there, are, there are literally streets that have for sale or sold signs on the lots waiting for the builders to come to get to them. And it's just a matter of, yeah, we'll get to you when we get to you. Have a good day, right? So it's, yes. uh, it's kind of nuts. Yep, we're seeing that here as well, too. So I've been uh, working a couple of new construction deals right now, and they're just, hey, we're trying to get the framers, you know, to get to that site so they can get the house going for, for my client. So, yeah, that's just something that I, you know, with me being newer since 2019, I'm, you know, I'm like, is this normal? Or is this how, you know, is this how it normally happens? So, well, with, with because of the pandemic delays of some of the materials, that's caused additional strain. And then, you know, as we've gotten ex increasing uh, demand for the supply, and then also then the, 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 the contractors, the sub subcontractors, you know, their demand is high. Um, and then when in Rapid City here, you know, we had a uh, hail this, this summer. And so all the contractors were busy there trying to fix all that stuff too. So it was kind of a, a crazy mess as far as all that's concerned. And, and yes. we're gonna start seeing new construction prices going up as materials you know prices just keep keep going up for now until that normalizes at some point so yep yep so let's go into um employment opportunities what's sioux falls known for what uh what can you how, where, where can you get a good job in sioux falls well you know um i have to say the medical field in sioux falls is probably one of the, the the biggest opportunities here there's so much opportunity there's um sanford hospital um you have avera you have the children's hospital you have the heart hospital there's the specialty clinics um so i'd say that's just for the medical field part and we got a lot of people doctors that come in um from all over you know again sioux yeah. falls is, is known for its outstanding medical centers um, and then from there, you have uh, banking and accounting. We have a lot of new banks coming to Sioux Falls as well, too. And from what, are, from what I'm reading, it sounds like it's a very tax friendly place for businesses and such as for banking and accounting. Um, and then um, education. Uh, we have the University Center right in town, Augustana College. Uh, uh, University of Sioux Falls. We have tech schools. So there's a lot of uh, education opportunities on top of that, just schools in general. Again, with us expanding out towards all these little towns and growing, you know, it's just, there's two schools being built right down the street from me over on the east side. So yeah. there's a lot of opportunity in those areas. And then lastly, sales from car dealerships, to retail stores we are growing in every angle and i would have to say Basic those service industries yep yes and i hear amazon is coming to town yep that true? yes yes amazon is actually coming here um i want to say they're uh, uh next year is mm -hmm. when it was planned you know the plan was it was going to be finished but that's going to bring in a thousand jobs and there's another big company. I don't know if they have announced it yet, um, but they're also bringing in. the rumor here? That's good. You heard serious, it first. Bringing in 500 jobs as well uh, with that company coming in here. So um, there's a lot, lot going on. Yeah, and with your um, proximity to, I mean, proximity is kind of a loose word, but you know, I mean, Fargo isn't too far away a lot of people hop on a plane and go to, go to Minneapolis, St. Paul, right? And they kind of do a little commuting back and forth. I imagine right. a little more of a, a big business in Sioux Falls than it is over here yep. on our side of the state. Yes, correct. Yep. Yeah. So here, here in Rapid City, you know, we're, we're smaller. We have everything you need. Uh, some of the biggest, some of our top employers are kind of similar. We do have the medical center. Um, you know, and so in Sioux Falls, you've got a lot of smaller towns kind of all the way around. Uh, on the east side of the state, a little more sparse on the west side of the state. So Rapid City kind of has the only hospital within about a hundred mile radius. So we got everybody coming to town, not only for the hospital, but also for the services, for Sam's Club, for the shopping and, and for the uh, concerts when, you know, when we ever have concerts again, you know, that kind of thing. 
So the hospital center and all the medical facilities around it is also a huge employment opportunity for uh, us here in Rapid City. Um, we've recently joined, I think they joined with um, Mayo Clinic and it's called Monument Health now is the, is the uh, hospital here, here in town. Uh, and so you know, that's a huge employment opportunity. Uh, we also have a lot of financial uh, employee, employment opportunities. That's another big one on the list. Uh, Ellsworth Air Force Base employs a lot of civilians as well as their, their airmen. Uh, and then also uh, anything, of course, related to the tourist industry, uh, of course, with the Black Hills, that brings lots of tourism. So if you're uh, hospitality workers, restaurants, any kind of the uh, uh, detractions, everything in the Black Hills, all those, those, those type of jobs are very readily, uh, readily available, uh, especially as you know, tourism. It, did, it didn't slow down last year either, even with the, with the pandemic, I think we were actually up because everybody came to South Dakota to camp instead of going, going wherever they were going to go, I think. So <laughs> the laws were a little bit more lax. Yeah. Here, yeah. Too, they so. do what they wanted to do. I had one yeah. guy in Florida that was just trying to get a, uh, a box for his, the back of his van to come drive up and he couldn't even get that order because everybody else was ordering them. So it was kind of, it was kind of oh. an interesting scenario in that scenario how many people were coming out two different places and camping across the country actually during during uh, during last year or so. Yeah, it's a good idea. All right, now we're going to talk about the top three things. That's six. That's three. Three things we love about our cities. So, Ramsey, number three of Sioux Falls. We'll work our way to the best, number one. So, the number three thing in Sioux Falls, uh, this may shock a lot of people, but it's things to do. A lot of people ask, you know, what is there to do in Sioux Falls? Um, depending upon your lifestyle, I'll just share some things that I enjoy. And it is eating. So I like to eat, you know, uh, there's a lot of different restaurants in town, um, local ones as well, too. So you won't find them everywhere. Um, I'd have to say burger joints. There's a lot of burger joints and we just had this big bur burger battle 2021 in town. 24 restaurants make a burger for the month of January and everyone in town votes on it. So nice. um, yeah, so there's just like a lot of like cool little places to eat. Um, bike trails. There's a 19 mile or right around 19 miles. It's a bike trail that goes all the way around the town. So from majority of it, you'll ride along the Big Sioux River. It'll take you down by the Falls Park. It'll take you through downtown. It'll take you basically all around town. And it's, it's really pretty. Um, so I really enjoy that. Um, if you're trying to get out of the town area, there's the Palisades. Uh, that's over in the uh, Garretson area. Um, Palisades State Park, there's, it's, it's beautiful trees and uh, river goes right through there. And there's little cabins you could stay on the river. It's very small and miniature versus, you know, the west part of the state, but it just feels a little, you know, you're a little secluded and you can be with nature. And then uh, Good Earth State Park, it's another thing to do. It's again, it, there's um, just a lot of sightseeing. Um, so if you like to golf, we have five golf courses in Sioux Falls, and then they just opened up uh, great shots. So it's just like top golf. So okay, yeah. they got the, yep, they got the bays and, and going out and golfing when it's cold, you know, you get the heat come down on you. So that is a few things that I like to do in Sioux Falls. And then the water park isn't too far away, isn't it? Yeah, a good point there. There's a uh, Wild Water West. Yeah. Um, it's like 15 minutes um, off the west side of town. So when you get to the west, that's just about 15 minutes away. Wild Water West is a, a big water park we have in town. They got a nice big lazy river, uh, swim up bar, and just uh, go karts, paintball, all sorts of cool stuff to do out there. Yeah, I, I love water parks. They took away our um, water slides a while ago. So well, I always look at that water park. I think I, I follow it on Instagram. I'm like, yeah, someday I'm gonna <laughs> take, a, take a day tour and spend a day at the water park. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. 
Number three thing about Rapid City is downtown. Uh, I actually have some uh, clients that just moved into the West uh, Historical District, which is just a, a few blocks downtown. And they've talked about how they just love going to different restaurants and they've been going to trivia every Thursday night at, at some bars and had a blast doing that and meeting a whole bunch of different people at different bars and different locations and different restaurants, uh, enjoying all the restaurants downtown. Uh, there's a lot of different flavors, different, different varieties. And so they've been you know, enjoying those pieces. Uh, and then uh, Main Street Square is an amazing uh, development that they built a number of years ago where they have um, video or movies at the park. They've got uh, every couple, every month, they'll have some sort of event, at least so I think, you know, they used to, uh, a Halloween event or a Halloween event, uh, a bridal event, so many different things that they do in Main Street Square uh, during the year. And then during now, now you can go down and go ice skating. They've got an ice skating rink in, in the middle of town. That's always fun to, to wrap around, except for this week when it's, you know, negative three degrees or <laughs> and then um also downtown in the summer is thursday nights on on seventh and we so they get there's a band that comes to town it's a free band people get together on the street they listen to music there's a, a there's, a, there's a beer garden there's a plate spot for kids to play and uh, just the general atmosphere of getting together doing stuff downtown enjoying uh, all the all the different activities, different things to do downtown. And there's you know there's a uh, canvas to paint, so you can bring your family down and paint. There's the the escape rooms, those kind of things. And so more and more things are being built downtown too, and being brought into downtown to to make it a great place to check out, to visit, to get what you need, to enjoy the restaurants and and uh, just enjoy all together. So that's my number three for Rapid City. What's your number two for Sioux Falls? Well, my number two would have to be events. There's just a lot of events uh, that go on um, all different times of the year. Like, for instance, we were just talking about one of them I really liked. It was uh, the burger battle. You have um, the St. Patty's Day, you know, all downtown. There's um the zombie walk they do so it's everyone dresses up like a zombie downtown and goes and you know uh it's cool to see everyone out and about um there's hot summer nights where they bring all the corvettes in downtown they line them all up all over you have the arts festival um again similar situation it's, it's just a lot of unique different uh events around town everyone kind of expresses themselves and it's for I can almost guarantee for every type of person, there is something that you would enjoy to go see. So um, events. So that kind of tied into things to do, I guess you could say that I did on my number three. Um, but then I'd also like to toss in there um, just opportunities, uh, I'd say Sioux Falls with it growing. Um, there's just there's a lot of opportunity for everyone as well, too. So um it's a free market doesn't matter what profession or or career you're in uh it just seems like it's just a great opportunity um for anyone Never. yep yeah. yes yeah so uh, you mentioned you mentioned arts is there a lot of um kind of different different types of art stuff kind of going on downtown I and mean, we've got like different um murals and different museums and that kind of stuff i assume you have that kind of stuff too for the artsy fartsy people yeah, yeah. And they have uh, the sculpture walk too. So there's, the, you know, you go to the downtown area, which is like the center of the town and it leads into the Falls Park, but there's the sculpture walk where you can go and you'll walk around each point and there'll be sculptures, just like very unique pieces, handmade, you know, and they'll tell the backstory and that those are, are all around downtown. So you get to kind of, you know, experience the downtown uh, feeling and get a, get a go around and see, you know, these unique pieces of art. And then you could also lead into the Falls Park, you know, as well, too, because that's just a, a walk away as well, too. So, right. yeah. Yeah. Sounds, sounds similar to, you know, uh, we've got the presidential statues. I think there's right now, I think there's 30 or 40 statues on each corner in downtown. So you can see all the presidents and they're, they're life size. You know, you can actually sit next to one of them and, and, and take pictures next to all of them. Uh, so it's kind of cool to go down and there's a president's walk. You can walk all the way downtown and look at all those sculptures. And that's kind of a, a fun thing for people to do. That's unique. Uh, yeah, yes. to do, so, yeah. yeah. 
So uh, number two in rapid C is, um, in my opinion, is uh, uh, parks, green spaces. So Rapid Creek runs all the way through the center of town and Rapid Creek comes from the Black Hills and just rolls right through town. And among around there is a whole bunch of green spaces and they made parks. So you, you can uh, go to a park along the river. There's a, we've got a bike path that follows the river like you guys do. Ours is only about nine or 10 miles. It follows the park all the way along. But that's a great place to you can uh, bike or walk, do whatever you need to down there. But uh, whether you're going to Kenny Lake Park or Sioux Park or Roosevelt Park, there are, are green spaces, the trees are big and you know you can picnic, you can play softball, you can do all these, you know, plenty of spots for the kids to play, plenty of play out equipment, lots of fun and different things you can do at each park. Um, there's even a, a golf, a Frisbee golf that you can play, oh, yeah. you know, and different, different parks have different pools, just so many different uh, parks and, and nature places to hang out at. And even if you're um, in town, my wife and I find a spot where we grow behind some trees a little bit and sit on a rock right next to the water. So we're watching the water fall. And uh, except for the fact that you could kind of see some, some cars drive by over there, you wouldn't know that you're in town. So it's, it's yeah. really a, a good, you can, you can find some nature even in town. Uh, and that includes places like uh, Hanson, um, Hanson Memorial Park, Hanson Memorial Park, which is a bike trails, and that's just right in town. And you're like in kind of in the foothill of the hill, foothills. And then just off Dinosaur Park and Skyline Hill or Skyline Drive, uh, there's a whole bunch of walking trails up over there that you can go into too. So you're look, you know, hiking in nature without even, you know, getting away from Rapid City at all. So that was my number two for Rapid City is just all the different places you can escape to nature without really even escaping to nature. So it's awesome. Yeah. All right, so the, the big one coming up, number one, Ramsey, what's number one about Sioux Falls? All right, you might laugh at me for this one, uh -oh. but it's the people. Um, you know, I feel like I've been all over, you know, um, the United States, and I feel like there's no place like home. Um, it's just, you know, when you get here, you feel very welcoming, you know, just even if you're out of towners, people from holding doors, you know, open when you're walking in, um, to letting you pull out when you're driving your car and, you know, you, there's a, you know, a little bit of traffic and you need to get in, people will let you in parking spots. No, you know, so it's just like, you know, people say hello. So I feel like overall, you know, when people think of the Midwest, you just, it's South Dakota period. You know, I think that even when you're on the West side, you know, I've been there plenty of times. It's, there's no place that you can find people that are so welcoming, um, that are just, um, you know, just respectable and accept anyone for who they are. There's no, you know, not judgy. Yeah. So I would have to say my, my number one is the people here. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I had a UPS guy that waved, you know, one finger wave on the way up past him today. So people wave at you, people talk at you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, Midwest hospitality is definitely here in South Dakota for sure. Yes. So, well, my number one has got to be the Black Hills. And last time I asked people in town, I said, okay, everybody, what's your favorite thing about Rapid City? And of course the Black Hills was always number one. Within 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you can be on any trail in the Black Hills, you can be up a, in an hour, you could be looking at some mountain vistas all by yourself, taking amazing pictures. And uh, besides that, there's just so many different things to do. Uh, we went snowshoeing last, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you can go uh, snow skiing, uh, you can go ice climbing that on some of the waterfalls. I don't know why you would, but you could if you wanted to. You know, snowmobiling, just, and that's just the winter stuff. And then of course, You've got the tourist season where you can go to some of the attractions that are that are in town. Uh, one of the ones that I really love by Keystone is a, um, a zip line, but then also you climb on the ropes and you're up high, you know, on the on the obstacle course, and that's a, that's a lot of fun, even for uh, for us locals. Uh, so just so many things to do and to be a part of in the Black Hills. Um, it was really nice during the pandemic when you know trips anywhere was kind of like yeah, that's going to happen we spent the summer exploring new places we've never been and we've been here since 1990 so it was there's always somewhere new you can go to see some new road that you can go travel down some new trail that you haven't been to some new site that you haven't seen yet uh, whether it be an old mine or an old car stuck in the middle of the hill somewhere uh, and a lot a lot of the history and a lot of the different towns so uh, the black hills for sure is 
the number one reason to be on this side of the town, on this side of the state, is all that that's going on on that side. So, yeah, I was actually over in the the Spearfish area and went uh, hiking and end up on the trail to the Devil's Bathtub. Oh yeah, I don't know if you've hit that one up. And you go about a mile and a half in, and it doesn't sound far, but when you're going hiking through, you're like, okay, you know. Yeah, it's kind of up, the, the trail kind of goes through the water and around, and yep. Yep, and then you get to go up, and you get to slide down a natural slide into a spring, and that water is cold. Yes. I have a video of me hitting that up, but there's just so, yeah, there's so much uh, beauty over on the west side over there. All right, everybody, there we have it. Rapid City versus Sioux Falls. Of course, if you have any further questions, leave comments in the comments below. Rems and I will be happy to answer anything for you. We'll have our contact information below as well. So if you want to just pick up the phone and talk to us, and uh, we'd be love to talk to you. Uh, what do you think, Rams? Any the last words you want to say? You know, I think we covered it all. Again, if you have any questions about the Sioux Falls market, uh, my name is Ramsey Salama. You'll find my contact info in there as well, too. Um, thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Thanks very much, everybody. We'll uh, talk with you guys later. And of course, remember, love where you live. See you guys.